we, we were just watching this video play so I can eat my lunch. But now, we're gonna be playing a game that I found, or not I found, that I saw other people playing. And um, I wanted to try it out. I haven't really looked into it much. I just know that it's a psychological-esque game and they ask you yes or no questions and then they give you um it's like a personality test but kind of a little on the spoopy side so we're gonna try it out i heard that they um made a trilogy of this so if i like the first one then i'll definitely play the second and third one uh some other time but uh, yeah also this is is it an rpg maker yes it's called the test let's see That is loud. <laughs> Depending on the game, I think I've watched a video of this. Yeah, so uh, Markiplier played this like a couple weeks ago. Um, game Theory played it uh, a little while ago as well. I think just a few days ago. So yeah. Always dash, command remember. Dashing. Let's let's try to pull it full screen, I guess. Uh where do I put myself? Is the question. I think it's bottom from what I think I saw. It's bottom right. Oh, this will be cool. Oh hello winter. Yes, I hope that it's cool. I think I put myself bottom right. And then or not bottom right, bottom left. I can't tell directions, apparently. I'll put chat here on the left as well. To keep things consistent. All right, new game. I'm kind of worried. I know this, I did after watching the video. It's interesting, learn a little about myself. Oh, okay. No, chat, you're blocking the way. <laughs> okay, you guys are bottom right, there you go. <laughs> <Got him. laughs> I I didn't watch the playthrough. I just saw like the first like minute snippet of it and I was like, hmm, interesting, and then I stopped. So that's how much I know about this. Okay. Now in order to begin, this is the most important part of this entire ex experience. <laughs> you will be asked a series of questions and you must answer them honestly. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth even if that's hard to face. Okay, then. We all want to be good people. We rarely want to admit our faults, grievances, or mistakes. But you must decide what you truly want. Do you want this to work properly? Do you want the truth about yourself, your destiny in this world? Or would you rather live a lie just to hide from yourself? Deep. The process is very simple in theory, just answer a long series of questions. What's difficult is self-analyzing your own psyche to evaluate the truths in your own mind and life so that you can predict your future. But your future could change though. You see, as long as you're honest with these questions and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. This will tell you things you already know, but don't necessarily know that you know. Like when you have to tell yourself something to believe it, I guess, yeah, it makes sense. As long as the answers you provide to the questions are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. This isn't psychic. This isn't a personality test. Well, shit. <laughs> this is simply nature. You didn't have to do the thought. Jesus. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain at work, unlocking hidden truths within itself. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this depends on the circumstances. Create your own circumstances in your mind, 
and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. I invite you to grab a drink of water, not a lot of water, <laughs> sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. We are about to begin with a series of questions and provided that you that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Here we go. Would you be all right with living alone forever? Ooh, we're already getting into it, geez. Um, alone forever? Okay, that doesn't mean that living alone is different than like not seeing people ever, right? Living alone just means that you have like the place to yourself forever. I don't mind that, as long as, like, I do see people every now and again. You know what I mean? I think I would go crazy if I was in the secluded cabin in the woods without access to anything or anybody. But, in my mind, living alone does not necessarily mean being alone forever. So I will say yes. Do you like the color blue more than the color black? Yes, I do. Blue is my favorite color. Uh, specifically, like, the colors of the sky blue. Not, like, super bright sky, but, like, uh... Starry sky blue. If you found money on the street and knew who it belonged to, would you give it back to them? Yes, I've done that before. Are you sure you want the answers you seek? I mean, are you gonna like... If the answer is gonna be like... Some spooky shit, then I know. <laughs> um... But... If not, then yes! Uh... You know what? I played a Mori. I can handle it. Yes. <laughs> Are you afraid of spiders? Terribly. Terribly. I'm deathly afraid of spiders. Spider story time. I feel like I've said the spider story way too many times by now. Oh, actually, let me move chat just a little to the side. See, so the yes or no is it blocking the way. Spider story time. So, um, I used to live in this apartment complex with a terrible bug problem. That's also the same reason why we had I don't like crickets is because we had a terrible cricket problem in that apartment. I was, you know, waking up, getting ready for school, got my, like, I don't know, bowl of cereal, like, whatever food I had, I don't remember exactly. And I go sit down on the dinner table, or kitchen table, sit down, put my food down, right? Right in front of me. A spider the size of my fucking hand drops from the ceiling onto my food! <laughs> I flipped that shit out <laughs> and I've never screamed so loudly in my life. It was like bloody murder. <laughs> I hate spiders. I hate spiders. <laughs> so yeah, I'm afraid of spiders. <laughs> they are they are terrifying. If you knew you would emerge unscathed, would you jump into molten lava? I mean Does that mean I also don't feel pain? I would assume that unscathed means that I'm unbothered. And I think that would be so fucking cool to say, like, I, I've jumped into molten lava and I could just do it and make it be, like, a cool flex. Like, what if someone's like, ooh, I want to discover something in the, uh, in the depths of volcanoes, I could just be, like, swimming in there. Yes, I would do it. Would you consider yourself to be fat? No, I'm a fucking twig. No. Would you say that you have lots of charisma? I'd say I'm like average. I feel like I'm average, social, socially average, so I'd say no. Have you ever wished that you could be temporarily frozen? No. I. The future kind of scares me. Like. Stop with the spooky music, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the future, like, half scares me. It's like I want to know, but I don't want to know, and I'm definitely more on the I don't want to know side, so. No, I don't wish that. This is all very interesting. Did you realize that the last letter of the previous five questions when put together spelled the name Satan? No. no. Oh! Frozen was the last word, right? Oh, I guess... What was the question before that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't remember. Does that make you uncomfortable? No. I don't. I, I think that's the coincidence. Are you good at finding hidden puzzles or clues? I think so, yes. I would think so. I'm, I'm a very, like, ooh, let's get into the deep, dark depths of, like, the lore and shit like that. 
Are you now wondering why the hidden messages are placed in these questions? Maybe? Maybe? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> have you been entirely honest with your answers this far? Yes, I have. Are you afraid of the consequences for answering questions dishonestly? Yeah, kinda. I I don't want to be spooked in a fucking 1240 in the afternoon, so yeah, kinda. Were you aware that there could be potential consequences for answering dishonestly? No, I wasn't until now. I'm wondering how these questions began to take a strange turn. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Would you consider yourself captivated? By the game? I mean, not really. I think this is very interesting. I don't know if I would say captivated. Mm, no. Very interesting. Would you consider yourself to be brave? No, I'm a fucking coward. I'm scared of so many things. <laughs> I feel like I'm brave in certain situations, but I'm very much uh, light than fight in a lot of other situations. Do you view yourself as someone with above average intelligence? Yes. Rank 69 out of 800 something in high school. Or 700 something, I don't remember. But I was pretty high up there. Have you been looking for hidden messages in these questions? <laughs> nope, I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm wondering which hidden messages you may have missed. You know what, game, yeah, maybe. <laughs> have you begun to wonder how long this test will take or how many questions exist in this session? No, I haven't. Would you consider yourself to be a patient person? Once again, depends on circumstance. Um, I think in general, yes. I think if it was like, if it's stuff that could be done super fast, and it's like, okay, I told you, do this, please, please do it. And then it's just like, no response for like days, and I'm just like, okay, guess I gotta do it myself now. That's, I think that's what. I would be very impatient about, but I'd say I'm patient most of the time. Do most humans annoy you? No, I like most people. I won't form like super close connections with most people, but I generally like most people. You prefer animals to people? No, I've actually I don't own any pets, so I don't have many experiences with animals. Do you believe in magic? Uh it depends on your form of what magic could be. Um, I think magic in the sense of there are some things that you can't explain and that's like magical. Um, but stuff like witchcraft and sorcery, no. I'm definitely much more like scientific proof person. But there are some things that I'm just like, how did that happen? And there's no explanation, and I think that's just really cool that there's no explanation, it just happens. I'd say, yeah, sure. You believe in God or the existence of some higher form of higher power? I think that there's something, but I don't know if it's like a creator or something like that. But I, I think there's something. You fear death terribly, yes. Are you attracted to someone whom you're not currently in a relationship with? No, I've never been interacted with someone that I haven't been in a relationship with. Or like, no, I, fr I phrased that weirdly. I've never been to attracted to someone when I've, someone else when I've been in a relationship. But I've only been in one relationship, so it, it doesn't happen. And I'm also single right now, so I could just be attracted to people, but no. Did you answer that last question 100% honestly? Yes. Are you alone? Chat, do you count? <laughs> Do all, do all of you guys in here count? Am I alone? We're never truly alone. No, I'm not alone. Because I'm with you guys. I told you with the utmost certainty that there's someone watching you. I mean, do we? <laughs> Would you believe me? Yeah. I mean, Winter just uh, confirmed it. Someone's watching me. <laughs> all of you guys are watching me. I'm going to put this on YouTube. Everyone's going to watch it. Have you wondered who I am? Uh... Not necessarily, no. I do wonder, like, why you got the plague mask on your head? Not over your face, because that's the, uh... That's the part where the face plague mask takes into place. Listen. 
We already talked about this with COVID. The mask goes here. The mask doesn't go here. The mask doesn't go here. It goes here. Nose and mouth, buddy. <laughs> Hello, John. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing the test. Getting some interesting questions thus far. But no, not really. Have you had shivers at any point during the session? No, I'm very warm and cozy in my uh, sweater and my blanket right now, so no. Do you feel like you're being watched? Hi, Chad. You're watching me right now. <laughs> How is the gas price? Don't fucking talk to me about that. Gas prices went up like a dollar. Crazy. Have you considered quitting this session early? Nope. Do you drink water every day? Yes. Yes, I do. You eat at least once per day, every day. Yes, I've never skipped a meal. I'm no, I've skipped meals, but I've never skipped a day of food. So yes, I eat every day. You realize that you missed seven hidden messages this morning? <laughs> no, I didn't, and I forgot that that was a thing. <laughs> God damn it! Do you realize that you just missed? An okay, now you're fucking with me, game. You are messing with me. You are messing with me. No, I didn't realize that. I wonder what they were. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Would it bother you to never know without finding them yourself? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is your favorite number seven? No, it's actually eight. Life is short, but it's the longest thing we'll ever do. Do you agree? I've never heard that before. I mean, everyone says life is short. Right, but it also adds to the point where it's like, but it's a struggle and you get, you have to push through it a lot of time. I like that sentiment. I agree. I mean, it's true. Orange, because oranges cannot be compared to apples. Do you agree? No, they're both fruits. It's, it's comparable. It's comparable. Venus is sometimes referred to as the morning star. Did you know that? I did know that. Yes. Uh, my mom's name is Venus. So, really cool, and so I know about that. Yep. I'm also a fucking space nerd. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do you agree? Everyone? Everyone. Second chance. That means you fucked up once, right? I think... I think yes. I'm, like, thinking of, like, terrible situations. Like, like, serial killers and shit like that. But they've probably been, been given multiple chances. Without realizing it, you know what I mean? It's like, you fuck up once, you deserve a second chance. You fuck up multiple times? Mm, I don't know about that one. But, yes. You can do anything you put your mind to, do you agree? There are physical limitations, however. But, if you try your hardest, you definitely can. I'd say... I mean, you, like... You can't be like, I'm gonna put my mind into being, like... I don't know, being like something that's like literally physically impossible. Like I'm gonna put everything I have into being like a fish or something. No, no, you can't, you can't. But I, I that's definitely not how they think of that. I, yeah. Obedience is more important than freedom. No, 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 no. I don't like that. I hate when people are super controlling. I do not like that at all. So no, I don't agree. Underwater adventures sound like a fun time. <laughs> Do you agree? No. <laughs> I I don't really like deep sea. Deep sea scares me. Like deep sea creatures? Those things are freaky, bro. No, I don't agree. Did you realize that the first letters of the previous eight questions spelled the phrase I love you? I was thinking it was gonna start saying so something. Because underwater adventures is just a really odd question to use. It said it was underwater adventures. Oh was I remember there was an O in the other question too, but no, I didn't realize to spell that. I love you. Do you wish to be loved? I think everybody wishes to be loved. Do you have any addictions? Uh, not like your standard like substance addictions, no. But maybe an addiction to I'd say technology in general. An addiction to connection with people. An addiction to uh, maybe not technology, more, maybe more connection. Um, 
an addiction to like accomplishing something or praise, like feeling good about something that I've done. That's a very addicting feeling. So I'll say yes. Do you dislike the color pink? No. Does the color gray seem depressing? No, it's just a color. Do you enjoy loud music? Yeah, I've been listening to like hard rap beats lately. <laughs> like hard K hip hop, uh, Filipino rap, that stuff slaps, bro. Makes you feel like a badass. So yeah. Do you like to dance? Uh, yeah, but I don't dance in front of other people. Would you consider yourself normal? I'm pretty fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, I think comparatively to other people, maybe. Um... No, I'd say I'm pretty unique. With all the stuff that I do. Do you love your parents? Yes. Have you ever been lied to? Yeah, tons of times. Do you get angry often? No. I get, um... Upset. Like, sad more often than I get angry. You hold grudges? Like one or two. <laughs> there are times where, or it's not like a grudge where I'm like against the person after something's happened. It's more like that left a sour taste in my mouth and now I will tell stories about it no matter what happens. And it's just like, listen, I'll forgive you. But I'm gonna still talk about how like you screwed up. <laughs> um No, because I think holding grudges means that I don't like them as a person anymore. Or like I won't forgive them, but I, I end up forgiving them. Have you ever forgiven someone? Yes. Have you ever lied? Yes. A lot. <laughs> I used to have this problem where I would lie out of like fear of being judged. Or it's like, I'll just go along with whatever you say even though like personally I'm lying about how I feel about things just so I could get out of a situation or something like that. Uh, I mean, there are times where you, you have to lie, right? To make yourself safe, stuff like that. But a lot of times, I, that's not my first option. You think flowers are more beautiful than trees? Well, flowers grow on trees, right? I'm thinking of like cherry blossom trees. And in my mind, I'm just like, there's nothing prettier. <laughs> no, I think trees are pretty. It's just that the cedar trees need to fucking go. I'm allergic to that shit. Can't go outside, man. Not here. There's too much. There's too many of those trees around here. No, I think trees are nicer. Have you ever wanted to be an animal instead of a person? No. <laughs> Do you believe you have psychic powers? No, I just think that I have good luck a lot of the times. Because whenever I like sign up for these uh, contests or giveaways and things and I end up winning. Well, specifically in giveaways, I remember I used to have like this string of constantly get winning giveaways last year and I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> but I, I just think it's just good luck and um, entering in things that have like a lower selection of people. So it was easier, it was a bigger chance of me getting selected. So no. Have you ever seen a ghost? No. No, because I know that my mind is like tricking me. Like if I like see something that I'm just like, oh, that's scary and that's gonna stick in my brain. And like I go out and it's dark and I like sort of see a silhouette. I'm just like, oh, that's just my brain being like, oh, hey, remember that scary thing that you saw earlier? Here it is again. <laughs> so no. Do you dream often? Yes, I dream a lot. I have dreams where sometimes I can't tell if it's an actual thing that happened like as a memory because sometimes I actually have dreams where it just like replays a day that I've had before um and then other times I have dreams that it's just like super fantastical um but a lot of my dreams are very realistic do you have nightmares often no I used to used to I used to have tons of nightmares and a lot of the times it's like my brain is like, oh, but what if we made the situation worse? And it's like, what if people started dying? <laughs> and I'm just like, why? Why would we do this now, guys? Um, but I'm able to, like, when I'm sleeping or dreaming, and I could tell that something is taking a bad turn, I can wake myself up and be like, 
yeah, no, we ain't doing that. We're gonna go back to sleep and we're gonna think of something good now. <laughs> All right, because we ain't doing that. Um, I think, I think still, I have a good amount of nightmares. Often, often, maybe like once a week, maybe. But I can pull myself out of it before it gets really bad. I'll see. You suffer from anxiety attacks. Yes, I do. And have I been diagnosed and treated from it? Nope. <laughs> you suffer from depression. I'm not sure. Um, I think in my past, definitely have. Um, it was very like episodic. It, it wasn't like, oh, I just feel sad today. It was very like, oh, during this span of time, like oh, this whole week or like, this whole month even, when I was younger, I would be like, I don't want to do anything, I just want to sit at home and just like lie down in my bed and feel nothingness because it's better than feeling something. That, that was what my thought was. Um, I've never, never gotten diagnosed for that either. I've been wanting to, but um, I don't know. I can't. I don't like bothering people about it. So I just don't talk about it. Uh, right now, do I suffer from depression? Right now? I don't think so. I think I'm in a better place in my life than what I was before. But it's very on and off trying to work on it. And I am hearing screams in the distance from this audio. Wonderful. But I, I'd say no right now. Right now, no. Do you exercise often? Say yeah. no. <laughs> I'm a couch potato. Would you consider yourself emotionally wounded? Hmm. Like something happened where you just can't like be the same emotionally as you were before. I think so. Yeah, I think I have. I am. Have you ever felt betrayed? Yes, I have. Do you ever feel lost in life? Yeah, there are times where I'm like doing these classes for my major. I'm just like, do I want to do this? Do I want to do this? Times when I'm streaming, I'm like, should I just put my all into streaming? Should I go into like social media marketing? Because that's a lot of the hobby stuff that I'm doing right now is a lot of content creation. And I really like doing that. But I also really like engineering and I want to help people. And I also like science. So I'm, I'm very like tossed up between like my hobbies and my, my work that I want to do. No, I say yes. Would you consider yourself a natural leader? Yeah, I think I've assumed a lot of leadership positions in school, in um, work, quote unquote. Um, I think one of the biggest ones was definitely orchestra because in my middle school, everyone started orchestra in sixth grade, but I started it in fourth grade when I moved there. So I already had a good understanding of things, and I was just ahead of everybody else by two years. And I ended up being first chair for like all of middle school until I went to high school, and then I found out that oh shit, there are some really good violin players out there. Um, but I would have to be first chair, and so I would be leading the section all the time, doing a lot of the solos, and so I think naturally. I've just become the person that's like, all right, I'm gonna take charge and I'm gonna guide the way for people and be a leader. I think, especially like group projects, because in engineering, you, you're you given groups a lot of the time for like labs and stuff. And so I, hopefully, I'm a good enough leader where I'm like, get people on things, but you know, everyone's working together and working well. So, yes. If you could push a button and destroy the world, would you press it? Hey, yo, chat, would you press the button? Is this the button right here? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because we live on this world, and so I do not want to get rid of the world that I live on. Because that, that means I die, and I am terrified of dying. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> do you sometimes dream of being a hero? Yes. Yeah, I do. Of, like, saving a life or something? Have you ever been bullied? Does hazing count as being bullied? I've been hazed before. Like when I was a little kid, I've been hazed. 
Does Hazy Castle- let's look it up. <laughs> Does hazing count? Is ha no is hazing <laughs> bullying? Um. Yeah, because it's an act designed to harm somebody. So that's um. That's the thought of being bullied is like constant acts for harming somebody or hurting somebody's feelings. So I'd say yes. Because that hazing sucked. Um, it was like, all right, I'll get into it a little bit. It was a bunch of like popular girls in elementary school, and they were like, "Hey, you want to join our group?" And me, being the smart kid, that everyone was like, oh, "Let's be friends with her." So, because she's a smart kid, right? They would be. They, I was like, "Yeah, sure, I'll join your group." And they, they were like, nice-ish to me. I now realize that they maybe not have been genuinely nice -ish to me, but you know, we're here now. <laughs> and they would grab, like, a paper clip. And they would unbend it, where it was like a pointy stick, very sharp pointy, not sharp, but like, pointy, hard stick. And they would poke the places in between, like, your fingers with the paper clip. And it hurt like a fucking bitch. And so I started crying. <laughs> I was like nine, all right? I started crying. I think I started bleeding. And um, they were like, no, 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 Denise. It's okay, it's okay, don't cry, don't cry. Please don't tell the teacher. What did I do? Exactly what they said. So. Fuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really talk to them anymore. Have you ever bullied someone else? I don't think so. If I did, it would have been unintentional. I think I'm a generally good person where, like, I don't, like, gang up on people and, like, hurt someone on purpose. I feel like bullying is hurting people on purpose. Frequently. So, I'd say no. Would you consider yourself to be a dreamer? Yes, I have ambitions and lots of dreams and stuff like that. Am I going to achieve them? Who knows? Um, probably not all of them, but one at least I would like to do that. You sometimes hurt people's feelings unintentionally. Yeah, I, I think everyone has at one point like been like, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, now I feel bad, and now you're sad, and oh fuck, yeah, yeah. Do you find space fascinating? NASA shirt! <laughs> I talk about NASA way too goddamn much! So yes, I find space fascinating. Would you consider yourself to be an artist? Not a drawing artist. Like, I think... When people think of being an artist, they, um... They automatically think of being like, oh! Uh, you like, you like drawing, you like doing arts and crafts, that sort of thing. Or it's like material, uh, art, uh, like sculpting, stuff like that. Uh, I would consider myself an artist in terms of music, because I play a good amount of instruments and I sing a lot. Um, I would say also with, um, like video editing, that's sort of like an art of its own. Uh, so yeah, I'd say that I'm an artist. Musician? That's an artist. Would you consider yourself to be a good friend? Half of me wants to give myself, like... A yes, but... Actually, not even half. The majority of me says no. I don't think I'm a good friend to people. <laughs> um... I, a lot of the time, I feel like I'm very reliant on people and I always need like a connection with somebody or it's like, oh, can, can you help me, good friend, with something like emotionally important, but I don't give the same attention or the same like amount of care that they give me is the feeling that I have a lot of time. I also feel like in general I just bother people way too much 
and it's like I'm always like disturbing you or something when you could be doing something so much better than just hanging out with me. So I'd say no. I want to get better with that. I definitely need to get better with that. Yeah, I just I just feel like I'm bothering people a lot of the time. And so I feel like I bother my friends a lot of the time. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. I think everyone's flawed in some way. Do you believe in perfection? You know what they say, like, practice makes perfect? I hate that saying. Practice makes better. Practice makes better is such a way better way of doing that statement. Because nobody is perfect in anything. There's always something that you could be better at. Like, everyone will make a mistake at some point, and I feel like... We put too much pressure on ourselves and we put too much pressure on other people to be perfect that it never gives us a chance to grow and to learn. So no, I don't believe in perfection. Have you ever stolen from someone? I've stolen from a corporation before. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe. Like, I've stolen like a pen or a pencil without realizing it. Yeah, I'll just say yes. Because I feel like that's that constitutes being stealing from somebody. But yeah. Uh, I stole when I was like a little kid. <laughs> uh, I think I went to the mall with my family, and we went to the and we passed by like this jewelry section, in a store or something. I forgot which store, honestly. And I saw this. I still have it. I think I saw this heart, a uh, little jewelry thingy, and it looked like a pendant. It's not a pendant. Like like something for a necklace, maybe. But it was broken off because it was not hanging like all the other things. It was on the bottom, on the shelf. So I picked it up and I was like, me, child. Ooh, sparkly diamond, pretty. <laughs> um, and <laughs> I don't know. I vividly remember checking the whole entire thing and then sticking it in my pocket. So I think my little childhood brain knew that barcodes would trigger an alarm. So I checked if there was anything that would trigger an alarm, and then stuffed it in my pocket. <laughs> but hey, I stole from corporations. On purpose. And I was also like six, probably. I think I was like six or seven. Would you ever kill someone under any circumstances? Yeah, I think so. If it's me or you, then I'm gonna do what I have to do to survive. I think. I think people are unaware of how capable they are in doing something like that. You know what I mean? Like, people don't realize that when you're put in a situation like that, a lot of people will just act on instinct to protect themselves or the people that they care about without like giving it a second thought. So, yes. If you have one day to live, would you tell anyone? I think so. One day though. Yeah, probably. I don't want people to unexpectedly have to... But one day is not enough to prepare for anything emotionally either. I feel like it's better than nothing. Like at least knowing a little bit beforehand is better than nothing. Yeah, I say yes. Have I ever told your darkest secrets to someone? Yes, I have. You trust me even though you know nothing about- No, I don't fucking trust you at all. Freaking sly bitch. <laughs> you know who I am? No. Nope. You're some sorcerer person. If I appeared behind you right now, would you scream? Not behind. Listen, I could- My OBS is up and running. I could see behind me. Somewhat clearly right now. <laughs> All right. Don't do that shit to me. I mean, if you appear behind me right now, I would probably scream. Yeah. <laughs> Have I told you that I've been behind you this entire time? Would that scare you? <laughs> no, because you know you're not behind me because OBS. But <laughs> yeah, kinda. <laughs> but no, because I know that's not true. Would you consider yourself to be empathetic? Yes. I can really 
like you know what other people are feeling you know what i mean it's like i could easily put myself in a person's situation and be like oh wow so that's how you're feeling it's like yeah that's how you're feeling <laughs> would you consider yourself to be romantic definitely <laughs> i am such a romantic person i'm like i don't know i just love all the the sweet like romance things i think it's adorable have you ever been in a physical fight no no are you prone to headaches or migraines yes a lot less now but yes before i used to have a migraine like once a month as a kid and i realized the reason why i had migraines so much is because um <laughs> i was so dehydrated <laughs> and the sun and i would like look at the sun or look at like some bright um light and it would fuck up my vision and then that would start causing a migraine even just talking about it can like kind of reminds me it's like oh yeah that did hurt but not as much anymore but still yes do you look at the ground when you walk yes and i also still walk over the cracks on the sidewalk <laughs> are you attracted to the opposite sex yes would you ever shave your head if i had to maybe by choice no <laughs> are you attracted to muscular bodies I don't see a yeah yeah I like my mind's like I don't really give a shit um it's like I don't have a specific preference but it's like I know you know what I mean I, mean, I don't have a specific preference but I I do like it do you ever dance when no one's like yes I did that earlier <laughs> you trust your best friend entirely ooh who would constitute as my best friend right now I'm like thinking of who would be my best friend. I'm thinking of like a group of people that I know, or like a few people. And I definitely, I trust them with everything. Yeah, I trust them. Do you remember your childhood extremely well? Mm, not necessarily, no. Well, there are some instances where I'm like, oh, I remember this exact moment, exactly this thing that happened. Because I don't know why I was like, this is a core memory, but in general, no. There's like literally a whole entire year of my life where I'm just like, what the fuck happened? What did I do? Like, I don't remember anything from seventh grade. <laughs> so I'd say no. Not actually, well, would you rob a bank if you could get away with it? No, because I don't have a need to rob a bank. I just think I would be in too much fucking anxiety to deal with that. No. Have you ever dream about running from a killer? Yes, that has been a dream of mine before. It's scary as hell. Have you ever dream about falling off a cliff? No. I've had dreams where I've been like free falling from like I don't fucking know what. And then you know the feelings like you're falling in your dream but you feel like you're falling in real life and your body like actually does like the, the jolt awake thing. That's happened to me a good amount of times, but not off of a cliff, no. You ever dream about being naked in public? No. I've I've never had that dream. That's like such a stereotypical dream. I wonder if people have actually had that dream before, because I've never had that dream. You enjoy scary movies or books? Not really. Definitely. I don't really like the scary stuff as much as the like the happier stuff or the like the sad, comedic, like drama stuff, I like that a lot more. Scary, Ugh, anxiety inducing. No. <laughs> you enjoy comedic television shows or movies? Yes, I like those. You like being the center of attention? Sometimes. It depends on the situation. Here we go again. Uh, if it's like center of attention between like a small group of people that I care about. And yeah, because I feel like, you know, it's it's these amounts of people that like really care about me and, and that they really like me and I, I, I like that feeling. But if it's like a huge crowd of like millions of people that I don't fucking know, no, that's terrifying. Um, I also don't 
like bothering people a lot and so i feel like i'm the center of attention they're bothering people no you feel like something is always watching you god i'm kidding no <laughs> have you ever wondered what it would be like to go to space nasa shirt sure. <laughs> yes i love the idea of space exploration have you ever had an out of body experience no i think the closest thing to it i don't think anything that counts as out of body is the waking up from falling feeling i'd say no have you ever punched a nun <laughs> hey yo what <laughs> <laughs> no i don't I can't say that I have. <laughs> How many of you guys? Oh my gosh, wait. How many people said yes? <laughs> no. Hey, are we just going past it? <laughs> you like better dogs better than cats? Yes, I'm allergic to cats, so I can only like dogs as much. I can't have a cat. I can have a dog though. If I would like a dog, I would get a dog probably. You prefer to read more than you prefer to watch movies. Recently? Yes. In the past? Definitely no. I'm, think I'm still thinking about recently. Because I've been reading- <laughs> Does reading manga and webtoons count? <laughs> I've been reading a, a ton of manga lately, lately. I just think that- I don't know. I, I just like being able to tell the story at my own pace. Um, man, but I love a good movie with good cinematography and good action and stuff like that. Hmm, that's tough. But I definitely think I remember a book way more than I remember a movie. Like, I'll rave about a book for way longer than a movie. So I'd say, yeah, I like book more. Are you still wondering why I asked if you've ever punched a nun? No, I think I went into that book question a bit too much for me to remember, but I was questioning it during the dogs and cats question. But no. Do you get starstruck easily? Yes! I- you, you saw me talking about fucking- All this shit that I got! <laughs> from voice actors that I really like. And like, oh my gosh. I really- I kind of want to just like- make a post or a video about it. it's like here's every single interaction i've had with a semi-famous person <laughs> i got starstruck with uh i definitely with streamers that i look up to and they like talk to me i'm just like you recognize me oh my god <laughs> i think that that was another that's a big thing i get starstruck by is like people that i look up to and then they like acknowledge me and then they you know they talk to me and stuff and i'm just like thank you thank you yeah definitely do you hate going to big parties and social gatherings i don't hate it um i get very exhausted fast you know what the answer is no because filipino parties are fucking bangers if you've never been to a filipino party you get there at like 3 p.m and you stay there till 3 a.m. <laughs> like, they go hard, bro. So no, I like it. Is your favorite part of your birthday receiving presents? No, it's hanging out with people and doing fun stuff. <laughs> Seriously though, have you ever punched a nun? Like, really? Just bam, right in the face. Nun punch. <laughs> no, I have never punched a nun before. No. <laughs> Did you laugh? Yes! <laughs> Did you say what the fuck in your head or even out loud? I didn't say specifically what the fuck. No. Are you now eager to somehow get the opportunity <laughs> to punch a nun sometimes? <laughs> I don't want to punch a nun, but that would be a cool ass story to tell. Man, the video that you can make up of that. <laughs> um, no. I am not eager to punch a nun. I'm not going to go out of my way to be like, where's the nearest nun so I can sock a one? <laughs> no. If there's a hell, do you think you're going to it? Yeah, probably. Do you enjoy fantasy fiction games? Yes. My favorite game series is 
Kingdom Hearts. My favorite game is Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm playing Nier Automata right now. I love Final Fantasy games with like my heart and soul. I'm a Square Enix fanatic. <laughs> like, yes, I love them. Do you? Do you masturbate frequently? No. Are you wondering what constitutes frequently? Now that you ask it, yes, but I feel like frequently, frequently for people in that context would probably be, be like, it gets in the way or it's like you make it a habit. Um, that's probably what I would constitute frequently as, but no, I don't, I don't get like that physical attraction need to like get off feeling. I. I get the um, romantic feeling of like, I need a cuddle, <laughs> I want a hug, and I want to like spend time with people. That's definitely um, like what I would rather have. Uh, no, I'm not wondering. Are you more than slightly uncomfortable right now? A little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more than slightly uncomfortable right now. I didn't think I would have to answer that question and then explain myself, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Is your mouth dry? No, my mouth is not dry, my throat is kind of dry though. Does profanity make you uncomfortable? No, I honestly don't care. Just as long as you don't say stuff that's socially unacceptable. No. You believe in legendary beasts such as Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot? No, I think it would be cool if they existed, but I don't think they exist. Are you poor with money management? Oh, I did spend a lot of money at that convention though, but I didn't. But I, my money has been steadily rising in my bank account. Mm, I think I'm pretty frugal most times. Every now and again, I'm just like, okay, we're spending money on this one. But you know, most of the time, I I'm pretty cheap. You enjoy solving mathematical puzzles? Yes, I love specifically Sudoku. Sudoku's actually really fun. You speak more than like one language fluently. I'm trying. <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> I wish I could, but no. Have you ever visited a country other than your own? Yes, I've been to the Philippines before. And China. Do you enjoy coffee? Yes. I've been sort of like kicking back on the coffee, except when it's like, um, like the holiday seasonal stuff from Starbucks. That stuff slaps. And I also just got a Starbucks gift card, so we're gonna be drinking a lot more coffee. But yeah, I like coffee. Do you believe in demons? No. You believe in angels? No. I don't believe in that stuff. Are you afraid of sharks? Yeah. I think if I saw a shark swimming towards me, I'd be fucking petrified. I know, like, statistically, they're not bad. But in my mind, I'm just like, no, no, so big thing swimming towards me fast, it goes om nom, never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'd say yes. You prefer baths over showers? No. I feel like a bath is you sitting in your own dirty water and you will not get clean. Because if you, because like what my family says is like, if you take a bath, you have to take a shower afterwards. And I'm just like, so why don't you just take a fucking shower? Eh? <laughs> Does the smell of perfume or cologne give you headaches? No, but with my asthma, it could trigger an attack, but not headaches. Did you see that shadow move in your room a few moments ago? Stop it! <laughs> Stop it, game! <laughs> no! <laughs> and I wasn't really paying attention to my OBS. Do you ever hear your name being called even when you know no one's calling it? Yes. That has happened to me before. Yes. Do you think so your home often go missing and then reappear later? I may have misplaced a credit card in my house a couple weeks ago. And it was not fun. It was not a fun experience. Um, yes. <laughs> Do you ever hear footsteps around when you're alone? No. I, that's creepy, bro. That's never happened to me before. You ever hear random knocking noises around you? Does the uh, drilling from construction and the rumbling of the earthquake from the mine nearby count? Probably not, so no. Do you often look at the same time on the clock every day? Yes, 
there are times where I like glance at the clock and I'm just like, oh, here we go again. It's uh, 3 p.m. Um, I think one of the biggest ones is sometimes I would wake up in like the middle of the night. Specifically, it's around 4 a.m. And I just like get up, look at my alarm clock like across my room because um, I would have to like physically get up to turn off my alarm. It, it helps me wake up in the morning. I see it across the room and I'm just like, God damn it, it's 4 a.m. and then I can't sleep again and I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, yes. Have you ever felt your feet being grabbed at night while sleeping? No, that's terrifying though, Jesus. Do you have any pets? No, I do not have any pets. I've never had a pet. Is your favorite color your green? No, my favorite color is blue. Hello, King Kai. Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's one of ghost emotes. You're from Ghost Chat. Hello. Are you attracted to a family member? Where's my guitar? Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you won the lottery, would you share the money with anyone? Yeah, I think so. I'd, I'd be like, I'll pay for this cool thing that we're all going to do together as like a group of friends. I'd be like, hey, let's go to this, let's go to Japan and I'll pay for everything. That's what I would do. That would be my version of sharing the money. So, yes. If you could be the dictator of your own country, would you accept the role? No, I feel like that's so much work. I feel like I'd screw everything up. Even if I'm a dictator and like, no, everyone has to listen to me basically, but like, no, I'd fuck it up. <laughs> do you ever wonder what it would be like to be in prison? I do wonder that a little bit. I wonder what it's like for a person that has done something. Like, depending on what they have done, how their prison experience changes. Also, depending on the different prisons that they are in as well. So yeah, that is very interesting. Because it's something that, like, people don't often think about, I think. Do you like fishing? No, I think it's so boring. <laughs> Do you like hunting? Never been hunting, but I don't think so. Do you like camping? <sighs> I've been camping like once or twice before. Um, the problem is, it's either like way too fucking hot or they do it during like high pollen season. And so I feel miserable every time, but like, Whenever we go out to like the river, or the lake, and we're camping by there, and then we could go swimming and stuff, I was like, that's nice. But the sleeping and the uh, the bugs in the dirt is not fun. No, I think I think more no than yes. You like guns? No, I like archery actually. I've done archery in high school, a little bit of archery. Uh, are you tired of answering questions? No, not really. I'm actually very entertained by this. I think this is really cool. Would you consider yourself to be kinky? No, I'm very vanilla. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Ozzy emotes! <laughs> Eyes are the window to the soul, do you agree? Yes, I think that you can tell a lot about a person's behavior, like what they're really thinking by looking at their eyes. That's why a lot of the time, whenever I talk to somebody and I like really care about like the conversation that we're having, eye contact all the time that's why during like presentations and stuff like that um they always emphasize eye contact with the audience because then you feel like you're being cared about and you're actually like being listened to so yes do you always keep your promises no there are times where i'm just like yeah sure i'll well there are times where i'm like I'll join this collab at this time and I will be on time and then something happens and it's just like never mind not on time god damn it fuck <laughs> um I definitely need to get better with my time management and my scheduling and keeping up with those kinds of promises so no would you ever completely trust someone who's lied to you <sighs> depends on the lie uh if it's something small then if it's something like really tiny, then yeah. If it's something that's like really big and it's like kind of friendship breaking, then no. <laughs> I think would you would you in any situation? Yes. I think so. Yes. 
Are you an only child? No, I have a little brother. Do you ever enjoy being drunk? I have never been drunk before. I just like take a sip of the drink that my family gives me because it is legal to do that um, in my state. Um, you can get a drink in a business, in a public place, um, if, with parent permission. And I just like sip it and be like, that tastes like shit or that's not too bad. And then I don't drink it anymore. <laughs> uh, no, so I've never been drunk before. Do you like tattoos? I think they're cool. I don't think I would ever get one, but yeah, I like them. Actually, if I were to get one, I'd probably get like a tiny little ankle tattoo. Do you enjoy being high in any form? No, I've never been high before. Do you believe you have a soul? Hmm. I don't know. Because in my mind, a soul is like something that gives you like emotions, compassion, and feelings and stuff like that. And I'm just like, well then that means everything basically has a soul, right? Like, all animals and stuff like that also have souls? I think... Mm. But like, also my science brain is like, no, you're just full of organs and bones and blood and stuff. I love tattoos. I love looking at other people's tattoos, but I don't think I would... I don't know if I would ever get one of my own. Because I feel like I would be like, actually, never mind, I don't like it anymore. I feel like that would be me. <laughs> uh, I'd say yes, I have a soul. Did you cry this week? Yeah, I cried this week. <laughs> Are you upset with someone right now? I think so. Um, actually, I'm upset at a situation with people right now. I'm not upset specifically at that person. I'm just upset with the situation. Um, no, I'd say no because it's not them. It's nothing against them. Is there someone you're not being completely honest with daily? Yeah, I think so. I think there's someone I'm not like saying my feelings about or like being truthful about how I feel about something. And I just like kind of go with it. Um, I think that's gonna change soon. I haven't been able to clear the air, but hopefully that changes. Um, but yes. You understand how this works yet? No, no. You answer the questions twice, your truth may change. It's not just about answering the questions. It's about the time you spend answering them, the combination you answer them in. It's about many different variables you'd never guess. Do you understand? Yeah, because you've been asking about stuff of like, do you punch, have you ever punched a nun? And then you ask it again. So if I say, actually, yeah, I have punched a nun, then you'd be like, hmm, you fucking liar. <laughs> but no, I have never punched a nun game. <laughs> but yeah, I understand. Are you wondering if the end of the test is coming soon based off the previous question you just answered? No, I feel like you should have said that actually earlier because now it's like you understand more. If I were to tell you that this entire process was planted here for you, specifically you, learn something about yourself and anyone else that bothers using this is just a byproduct of its intention, would you believe that? No, because I found this off of a Markiplier video. <laughs> Are you afraid of being abandoned terribly? I I hate the feelings like I wake up like one of my biggest fears is like I wake up one morning everyone that I know that cares about me is just gone and I can't contact them anymore are you afraid of dying alone yeah do you worry that one day you'll be unexpectedly murdered Jesus I mean that is a worry but I don't it's not something that's in my mind because I feel like if you think about something like that you're always gonna be terrified of like everything so I say no are you always on guard waiting to fend off an attack? No. I know like where I need to be, when I need to be, but no, I, I let myself relax. Do you feel like I know you yet? Probably. <laughs> I've answered a lot of questions and I feel like chat knows a lot about me more now than like ever, honestly. So yes. Have you heard any strange noises while answering these questions? 
Besides the creepy music, no. Oh. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took lots of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. <laughs> Damn. Based on what you've told me, this is what I can conclude. People don't understand you completely, do they? You're a lot more complicated than people think you are. They don't give you enough credit because they can't understand what you've got going on deep inside. I am pretty emotionally walled off, yeah? <laughs> you may not always like everything about yourself. You may even give yourself way too hard of a time, but trust me, you've got some natural talents that will take you very far in life. It's imperative that you embrace that fact. Wait, I thought this was gonna be scary. <laughs> my heart. This is wholesome. What? Oh my god. You have uh, this, like, give yourself way too hard of a time. Really fucking rings true because midterms ended last week and I was stressing out like crazy because of it, dude. Oh my god. <sighs> I've been like, like, whenever someone says that the grades are out, my heart starts fucking racing. <laughs> and whenever I go check my grade, I'm just like, please, please, be good. Be acceptable grades. And I, I did fine on all of them. So, all that stress is gone. <laughs> for now. And then, in two weeks time, it will be back. Yeah. What I must deal with with college and stuff. Natural talent. Thank you. Thank you. Is that a punching bag behind you? Yeah. It's awesome. Under there. But yeah, we have a punching bag back here. The only way you're going to fail is if you let the doubt of others pull you down. The only way you're going to fail is if you start believing what others may think of you. Not let them win. Oh. Yep, gotta work on that self-confidence. <laughs> I gotta really work on that. Run of a kind. Truly remarkable. As a matter of fact, I get the sense that you don't even realize or understand just how special you can be. But ultimately, your path is entirely up to you. It's a strong possibility you're going to let it all slip away just as easily as you can become an incredibly successful start. But the results are yours for your taking. Not everyone has that luxury. You, however, Yeah, I feel like a lot of the things that I've tried or wanted to do in the past sort of just like slipped away from me because either I was like quote unquote too busy, um, my heart wasn't completely in it, and I wasn't as hardworking as I wish I could have been. But if I did have the ability to go back and like change that. I wondered where I would be. I wondered if I would have been like a lot more successful and doing a lot of really cool things that I always thought was like some like fantasy dream in the past. So my advice to you is to listen to your gut. Go out there and get the life you want to have. Do not live your days in regret. It's not too late yet. I believe in you. Thank you. And also, it's not too late for anybody that is going through college. I feel like every single freaking college student has to deal with this shit. Where, like, either they have no fucking clue what they're doing, so they're just going through the motions. Or, they have a set path, and then they realize, it's like, actually, I don't like it. <laughs> and But they they feel like they've gone in way too deep, and so they just have to go with it. But you should do what you want and not have to like, you know, it's fine if you don't know what you want either. And it's fine if what you want changes because you're old, like, you have so much of your life ahead of you. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of dumb that we have to decide um, what we want to do for the rest of our lives at like 18 here. But yeah. 
Your secret word is blessing. Remember this word, this will come in handy. Blessing. Oh, so sweet. I came back during a motivational speech. Let's go. <laughs> Take the secret word that was assigned to you at the end of your session and leave it a comment for us. We will be selecting some of your base lines to be included in the future project we're working on. Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. This is a chance for you to be a part of something greater. Be sure to note your secret word in your comments. If you do not wish to be part of an upcoming project, simply leave your secret word out of your comments and we will not select your name. We appreciate any and all comments that you leave and we will always read them thoroughly. Thank you for taking the time to answer these questions. I know they've been of some help to you, and if they aren't yet, it will all make soon sense very soon. Trust me on that. Alright. Wow. That is so interesting. Alright, that was the test. Huh. I think... Okay, we're gonna close out of that real quick. Let me sit back up. I think that was very insightful, actually. There are times where I was like, damn. Now I have to think deep about myself and now I have to explain myself in front of the chat. <laughs> Um, honestly, the nun punch question, amazing, hilarious. Half of me wants to be like, damn, what situation would anyone be in where they haven't have to punch a nun? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the things that I said about the, um, it was a lot of like self-reflection, I think, and realizing that, um, I'm not very good at trusting people or like i feel like like i always say like I, I like i said a lot before i felt like i bothered people a lot and so um i want to work on like self-confidence definitely i think it's a big one uh self-worth and stuff like that um i think things that is really interesting with this game is I wonder how many possibilities there are, right? I wonder if like how many people have gotten the same secret word as me and is like going through a similar situation in their lives, you know? Um, and also the really interesting thing is a lot of the questions were like making me second guess my own thoughts and like uh, just made me feel somewhat uncomfortable, especially the one where it's like, did you see that shadow move across your room right now? It's like... No, no? <laughs> what, what shadow? What do you mean? <laughs> um, I think, especially if you like play this on your own without like having a chat watching you or like recording it for a video, uh, those questions would definitely be a lot spookier. So, yeah, probably. But all in all, I think that was a very good game. Very good questions that they asked. I am intrigued by who that person is now that like it's done and over with because I was like, is that a cute girl? Is that like an anime girl? Anime sprite girl? But she's wearing like a plague mask. I'm like, what What kind of situation are we in? Why are you asking me these questions? What's the point? <laughs> so yeah, but all in all, I suggest that everybody go out and uh, try to play a game. It's called The Test. You could get it on Steam for like two bucks. Um, pretty cheap. And, um, there is a trilogy to it, to it, so maybe in the future I will play it. Play the other ones that they have. Yeah, I definitely want to check out and see how many- I wonder if there's a stat, like a stat, where it's like, how many people have these words? Gotta love ritualistic anime girls. <laughs> yeah. And it's also interesting the way that they framed, uh, the way that they framed the game, where, like, the top half was definitely just the game, and then the bottom half was all black. And half of me was like, why is it so dark in this room right now? That was, that was the question I was asking.